Okay, this, okay. Um, this is my husband's mule, Coco. We've had her about two months. And um, she, she's just a super, super, super animal, but had big trust issues. Um, very willing, very sweet. Uh, so since she's new, actually she, just to halt her, it took some time, but today I went right out and haltered her. We don't drill on anything. We just wait for the right opportunity when everything is happy, and then we try to capture it. So she's doing so well. I brushed her today at Liberty. Uh, anyway, the point of the video is, uh, for the collection on the ground, this is all new to Coco, and I thought I would try to demonstrate how you can do this online. Number one, loose rope. That means there's a belly on it. It doesn't mean that you're not pulling on it. You don't want to pull on your horse or your mule because if that throws them off balance, they're going to brace. So you just tip like that and you can feel your muscles tighten to keep yourself upright. And that will build your body asymmetrically and it will be weaker. So the horse won't be able to develop as correctly. Think of a ballerina, a gymnast, um, the horse or mule needs to be able to use its body as vertically and balanced as possible. So first, this is how you would hold the rope lightly, very lightly. And sometimes, and she hasn't done it here, I don't think, um, they can, she will bolt. I knew her before she came. Um, just take off, so then you can't help but be a little bit tight if you don't have a safe place to let them loose because we're right out in the front yard and the road's about an eighth of a mile away. So I would hold the rope tightly if she bolted just because I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to her. If we were in a, an enclosed area, I would let her loose. I would just let go of the rope and she comes right back. She would come right back, I think. She's got mud on her feet because she doesn't yet like to be sprayed with the hose. So I didn't get to wash her feet off. We had to cross mud. It rained a lot yesterday. So this is Coco. Say hi, Coco. Good girl. Used to not be able to kiss her. Or hug her. Or fly sprayer or brush her. We can do those things now. And she's so sweet. I think she's about 18 years old. So first we'll just lead. Good girl. That was very good. That was good that she moved with me even though she wanted to eat grass. Okay. Good girl. So for the beginning, I don't care if she switches sides. I don't care how she walks. All I care about is that she moves softly with me. That's all that matters softly with me and also not running over me and things like that but if you have a horse that's doing that that needs to be addressed before you start this work so if you have a horse that already doesn't have very good manners and isn't safe don't try to do this stuff yet work on those things first so this is for a horse that's safe and even though she doesn't really know what we're doing she's trying so loose rope she just moves with me actually something that you could use for training. Do you walk to halt to walk. Excellent. Let's see if we can back. Can we back, Coco? Can we back? Good, Coco! Okay, I don't, I try not to use any pressure teaching back. I try not to use any pressure teaching back. I wait and capture when the animal moves. So if they take, once they're moving with you and you move towards the back, they're likely to step back with you. So teaching them to move with you first is most important. You're a good mule. You're a good mule. You're a good mule. Okay, come back. Good, Coco. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you're so good. Okay, that was really, really good.
back. That's close enough. I don't really care if she gives the perfect right answer because right now we're just trying to build a language. When kids go to school, they don't read the day they get there. They start learning the alphabet and then they learn sounds and how to spell and how to write and then grammar and punctuation and it takes a long time and it's exactly the same thing with horses or mules. So back to our line. I just love how she's with me. This is perfect. You're perfect. You are perfect. You're a perfect little mule. You're a perfect mule. All right, so for the first day, the shoulder in is a little bit to ask for, but we got just the teensiest hint of it um, to start half pass, side pass. All right, we aren't doing anything yet. So stand, make sure they're engaged and cross. She's so smart. Go that way. Coast, good girl. Good girl. And I, again, I don't care what she does. She's trying. She is thinking and she's trying and you reward the effort or they are going to quit trying. Okay? Um, so don't expect perfection. You start by trying to get the horse to move with you or mule lightly, always lightly so that they're not being thrown off balance and so that they remain soft. You don't want to dull them. I'm just so proud of her. I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you, Coco Pants. Yeah, you're good for an old mule, aren't you? Yeah, good girl. Okay, um, so to cap up the very, very beginning things, Walk lightly, have the animal move with you. Oh, good girl. Good Coco. Okay, and walk. Good girl. So that's the very first thing. Then you can add back. Back. Good. Good, good, good girl, good girl, good girl, Coco. So that's the beginning. Good.